All right, let's take a look at what Odell Beckham tweeted out there. All right, see, they're, they're take, I guess they're taking in context. I don't know. Uh, we didn't ask to trade him. You don't get married to get divorced. I tried my best. The situation I had been in since there had never changed, and uh, we were losing, period. Money doesn't bring happiness, brother. Remember that. So, so the... Um the quote that he's saying at the beginning of that is what Gettleman said after it. Actually, he opened up his press conference at the Combine with that. I didn't sign him to trade him is what he said yeah. initially. Then he goes on, he says, I gave them everything I had every Sunday. Just put some respect on my name. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying nothing. And trust me, you got a lot of uh, info that people don't know about. So keep my name out of your mouth the way I uh, do, you all. Now. I don't know. The question is, or the statement is that out of 32 games, he only played 16. Right. He was injured quite a bit the last couple of years. Yeah. Then he goes on. He says, I'm not upset in any way about where I landed, but out of respect, what they did was crazy and beyond disrespectful. I wanted nothing but the best for New York, but on to a new chapter. It's life. All right. I get it. Now, Odell, if if you want, if you want uh, some advice from a, a grizzly old veteran here, you said what you wanted to say, put it away and start playing football. Yeah, and, and the other thing is is winning cures everything, especially, especially if you come to Cleveland and you help the Browns win. <laughs> yeah, especially. I, I'm not sure he knows what he's getting into, no. and it's all good. Yeah, I, I mean, and I get it. The Giants are one of those iconic franchises, right. but there's a lot that distracts from the Giants in New York. There isn't a lot that distracts from the Browns in Cleveland when they're going well. All right. First of all, I'm on record as saying I love the deal that, mm -hmm. that they got him here. I think it adds a whole new dimension. Uh, but if he is a, a problem, I don't know what you could do. The, you can't just get rid of him. I mean, I, if it doesn't work, you're stuck with him, and I right. hate to say that. But, but again, I, I think that chance is pretty remote at this I point. I do, too. Um, too many and, things going on and, here. And the other thing is, is you've put a lot of – things in place that would help him succeed. Adam Henry, Correct. receivers coach, was with him at LSU. Jarvis Landry was his best friend and, and played with him at LSU. 